French fans didn't like the way Emiliano Martinez celebrated Argentina's World Cup victory. But former French international Adil Rami just outright hated it. This is the story of Adil Rami attacking Emiliano Martinez after the World Cup and then anyone who came to his defense, including Angel Di Maria. It's been 10 days since Emi Martinez swung his <clears throat> golden glove in joy, but the shockwaves it sent all over the footballing world are still raking havoc. The Albi Celeste keeper's unconventional ways of celebrating the World Cup victory disturbed many people. But no one took offense like Adil Rami. A World Cup winner himself with Le Bleu back in 2018, Rami took to social media and let everyone know that he is not the biggest Dibu Martinez fan in the world. A 37-year-old towering center back took his first shot at Martinez by calling him the biggest piece of in the world of football. And within the same breath, he shared his next hot take, which kinda sounded like an award, but totally wasn't. According to the Frenchman, Amy Martinez was the most hated man. With so much horrible stuff going on around the world right now, that one seemed a bit far-fetched, but we're not gonna dwell too much on that, of course. These were not the subtlest takes football fandom heard about the goalkeeper, but Rami was just getting started. The Frenchman was like a defender staying on the opposition box in a last-ditch effort at the end of a match. So he kept on attacking. Even FIFA was taking its fair share of criticism now, as Rami called Moroccan goalkeeper Yassine Bounou the real Golden Globe. That was pretty audacious, but Rami was still not done. His next barrage mixed Kylian Mbappe's name into this big, buzzing social media rant. Rami's explanation for Martinez's over-the-top gestures was the trauma Kylian Mbappe caused. The final shot Rami took was a bit lower than all the rest, as he shared a caricature drawn by a Montpellier-based cartoonist, Dadu. Rami's takes were enough to make it to the news, but what followed suit made sure that this whole thing got in the front pages. Because as they have done throughout the World Cup, the Albi Celeste stood strong as a unit and came into Dibu's defense. Even Angel Di Maria, a man not known for his defensive work rate was there too. El Dibu is the best goalkeeper in the world. Go cry elsewhere, said Di Maria. And he was joined by Leandro Parades, who wanted the French defender to say the same thing without crying. And by Herman Petzela, who woke his inner Messi up and said, Anda paia, Rami. A reference to his captain's now world-famous rant against Dutch forward Wout Weghorst. But the Pandora's box was open now, so Rami just rolled with the chaos. Tweeting four pictures of Di Maria himself crying with the captions, when you lose, when you win, when you leave a club, when you see this tweet. The last time this much back and forth action took place, Argentina had won the World Cup title in the epic final, which initiated this whole mess in the first place. Talk about coming full circle. After almost two weeks, Amy Martinez is still being talked about all over the world. His coach at Aston Villa, Unai Emery, told the media that he'll have a serious talk with Martinez about his celebrations when the goalkeeper gets back to training. But the fact that the very same man that caused this whole thunderstorm was busy getting a World Cup tattoo right at the exact spot of his last-minute save against France kinda suggests that he won't care too much about his coach's feelings. Do you think Adel Rami went overboard with his reaction? Was Emiliano Martinez wrong to celebrate the way he did? Make sure to let us know. World Cup's Golden Glow winner is living the best time of his life, but his career wasn't always a bed of roses. Check out this video to learn what the heaven happened to Amy Martinez. Thanks for watching.